Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. It is actually the Chinese New Year festive period and the demand for seafood have actually increased throughout this short period of time and therefore we are actually harvesting our shrimps that we've been cultivating for the past 3 to 4 months. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back guys. For those that are new to our channel, RS Aquaculture provides timely news and technologies and systems with regards to aquaculture. So do like and subscribe if you like to get a notification of our, when we release our new videos on our channel. So back to our topic for the day. So as you can see, shrimp harvesting is actually quite a laborious process. As you can see in our ponds, we do not typically use nets uh, to pull up the shrimps, but instead we use what we call trap nets to trap the shrimps into cages like this. And we will slowly divert the shrimps to the side uh, of the net so that it can be harvested easily. So the, the sizes of the net, you know, really depends on the amount of people that you have working on your farm. If you have a shortage of labor, there is not much of point trying to operate a very big cast net or even to uh, a very big scoop net uh, because you don't have enough people to scoop your shrimps. So for our farm, which is quite a small farm, typically what we use is trap net and we perform multiple harvests throughout the day and we typically harvest multiple times throughout a cycle. So what do you see over here is after, you know, at the ends of the trap net, we typically release all the shrimp into a basket and we will have to perform the same operations on both sides of the trap nets. And depending on what stage are you harvesting the shrimp at, you know, typical scoop can contain up to 20 to 25 kilos. Whereas, you know, when your shrimps are at the end stage of the harvesting process, you might only go up to one kilogram. So placement of these trap nets is really important to ensure that you know you optimize the amount of a, a harvest that you have to perform. And you also control the amount of time the trap net is being placed in the pond. So that's really important concept to take note as well. So here's a closer look on the bucket that we've been using to trap our shrimps. So you can you can see by pulling this, we can make sure the shrimps don't escape from the buckets because you know they can be quite feisty and you know, tend to jump around, especially when we're harvesting them. So in the next few weeks, I'll also release uh, some data on our preliminary results on this pond over the monsoon period so for now we have we actually transporting our shrimp live as you might see over here so shrimps are actually being placed in a containment area that looks like this and we actually bring down the temperature and provide aeration during the process right so you can see a truck like this we can send up to 200 to 250 kilos of shrimps per trip so that's actually nice for the amount of nets that we are using we typically harvest in the morning and bring them down to the processes by the evening so you can see uh, this actually containment unit has actually insulation as well so we are able to keep the temperature low as you can see it's about 12 uh, degrees over here on a very hot afternoon so that's a really important if you're trying to sell your shrimps in a live manner to to get a high price so many would argue it would be probably easier to just sell your shrimps or uh, chilled on ice already dead. But according to what we see on the market demand, we actually see a very different story. There's actually a huge demand for live shrimps that, you know, that are sustainably farmed and even farmed in a safe manner. As you can see, even on the recent news on Singapore's mothership website, you see that it's actually popular to sell live shrimps, especially during this Chinese New Year period. So thanks again, guys, for visiting us at Rasa Culture. And if you'd like to learn more about shrimp farming, do not hesitate, do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel so that you can learn more. Thank you.